Hello my friends and welcome to my new tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to create very nice car composition. So check it. Ok, uh, so in today's video I will show you how to make uh, some redshift material including the wet uh, floor so and additionally I will show you how to set up all this composition very easily to Adobe After Effects and to be informed that this composition I created only for four different frames, only four different frames, no any additional animation in uh, Cinema 4D. So it's very easy and if you are ready, let's start. Ok, we are in Cinema 4D and I already have some model of car. Also I have some redshift textures for this car. Uh, if for you interested in how I uh, create this redshift texture, so send to me some comments and I will create some additional tutorial how to apply and how to make texturing of the car. But today, in today's video I will show you how to make a final like this compose. So as you can see I have some mm, smoke behind the car, I have some wet floor and nice illumination, global illumination. For all this I will use only red shift. So let's start. Uh, first of all we create some uh, floor. Going to plane, reduce a uh, segment size and make uh, 5 meters to 8 meters will be like this. Okay, very nice. What I will do now, just make a copy of this plane and put up. Maybe 2 meters, 2 meters, 20 centimeter will be enough. Maybe, maybe like this. Or maybe 2.5. It's absolutely up to you. You can use any underground parking, it doesn't matter. Ok, copy and make a front, uh, not front, side, side wall. We are going here and decrease 2 to 0, only like this. Put in proper position. copy, also put in proper position to be sure that no any space on the our wells and put back somewhere here. Ok, it will be 4 meters, will be 0 and I will little bit reduce, uh, yes this will be 5 meters only. Ok, Primitive garage created. I don't need any front wall because it's not necessary here. I later I will set up a camera. What I will do now? I will make some additional um, additional how you can see in my video like a uh, roof elements. Just go to normal cube. Re uh, increase size five meters. I will make maybe only ten meters, ten centimeters only. 20 ok like this and put this cube inside to cloner so cloner settings here it will be 0 and here I don't know about 200 200 so go to top view and put to the front front and maximum to the top maybe somewhere here and also I will make some additional fillet for this, maybe only for 1 cm and maybe 3, just just maybe 2 cm, just little bit to make it more natural. 
Okay, going to cloner and increase a quantity. Maybe, maybe like... Okay, like this, yes, I like it. So, if you like, you can make a, a sides elements uh, and behind car elements. It's absolutely up to you, but really, I no need it. I no need it, absolutely. So, what I will do now... I will go to Redshift Lights. Okay, first of all, settings, yeah? Uh, render, Redshift. Redshift, going to Basic, and reduce up to minimum, I don't know, 1 and 1, just for beginning, just for quick calculation before our setup. Then go to System, Bucket Rendering, and increase up to maximum, and Spiral. So, in present moment, we will use like this. Global illumination we not use in present moment, but for final end, uh, render, I will use a primary global illumination engine to irradiance cache. Now, we no need it. Okay. Uh, yeah, one more thing. Redshift, uh, integration, and default light disable. You have like this, but push disable. Now, we no need it. So, uh, go to Reshift IPR, hold the screen, and render what we have. You see only lights, coming only lights of my car. Uh, when I go to my car and front, front lights, I have LEDs. This is just normal standard uh, irradial uh, self-illumination redshift material, like this, yeah? Okay. I delete this light, I no need here, and I delete here. What I will do? Go to Redshift, Redshift Area Light, and put this area light inside in my LED, uh, LED lights like a child. After that, go down and make it like a mesh, shapes like a mesh. Take LED and put inside. Make it visible and make it bidirectional. So, render now and what we have? We have nothing. Why like this? Yes, I have a fighting approximately few, I don't know, few hours just to fix this problem. And finally, what I found. If I take these lights, uh, you see, this lights a child of group. Group, child of front lights. Front lights, child of... Uh, Null hedge or hot hedge, yes. If I just take out these lights and put somewhere just just without any child, it will be like a primer, yeah. And I make a render again. I see these lights. I don't know why it's happening in Redshift or maybe in Cinema 4D settings, but now it's working. So I go to area light and I increase first of all change to radiant power unit type and increase maybe i don't know maybe 400 here and 200 here so very good now i have lights and i see some car start little bit illuminance very good what i will do now going again to redshift lights area light just drag somewhere here and change to cylinder you see now coming cylinder I reduce size and maybe like this and increase a lens so it will be like a fluminescent lamp go to top view and put it somewhere here between between to this object maybe close to the wall just copy and put somewhere here very good take to the uh, take to the slides Hold counter on your keyboard, drag somewhere here, and drag somewhere here. Very good. So check okay, uh, check again what we have. Small light coming. Now I take these lights and put up up to somewhere maybe here very high and select all of them go to settings unit type we 
make 200 and 200 okay very good it's not so bright not so dark just like a underground underground very nice animation so it's not so good quality because i use only samples only one and one is doesn't matter we will keep like this for a moment and for fast calculation disable this uh, force enable it for ipr if you enable it your calculation will be like a progressive and all time coming more better 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 but uh, when it's working when it's working your video adapter i i show you now yes your video adapter all time under the pressure you see I have two video adapters and it's under the pressure my temperature going down just to avoid this problem make like this and your picture calculated only one time and your video adapter going to very soon going to stop here yeah, very soon not now okay uh, what we will do now now we set up a material for my scene okay First, I will use a roof material. So, create a new redshift object. Go inside. Go to texture. And for texture, I will use something which I already created, uh, which I already prepared. I will use this, like a cement, or I don't know what is this exactly. Just put inside to diffuse color. Very good. Also, I will take some bump standard procedure yes how to take a bump from my uh, texture go to color correct and go to bump map color correct reduce full reduce saturation put inside my texture put inside to bump map and put to my material like a overall bump input okay very good i think i little bit reduce the size of my bump maybe 0 0.2 just just little bit go to material and make a roughness for reflection 0 0.5 okay like this like cement maybe and apply this material to my top and to my cloner to my cloner don't forget to make a projection like a cubic and here also like a cubic so render and check what we have okay you see some something already we have something we have white color not so bad uh, now i will create uh, some material for my walls i take this material make a copy double click go inside and only change texture because all other is already done i change to wall texture like this very nice and maybe material make it more roughness maybe 0 0.7 like this okay very good select sele uh, select select drag and now we have all these materials select three of them and make it cubic cubic projection very good check what we have okay very nice looks like looks like very nice yeah and finally as you can see in my video i have wet wet floor wet asphalt how to do it very easily in redshift take this material copy of them go inside change my uh, change my texture for asphalt okay like this very good uh, drag and put here go to redshift so it's i think it's too much ipr i don't need it hold and check what we have okay i have it very good go to this material make a cubic maybe a little bit reduce the size 
I don't know, maybe... Oh, uh, oh, I will keep like this. Okay. What I will do now? How to make a wet? Go inside and go to settings. Go to settings. Edit. What we have? I think a little bit increase and put down. Maybe, maybe like this, just to see what is going on, okay? It's my ventilator, it's working, maybe you hear in my mic microphone. Okay, like this, very nice. So, first of all, I take new texture, noise. Uh, it will be fractal noise. What I will do now, I just take this noise and put inside to my material, just to visual see what is going on. Okay, now I take this noise, going to settings coordinates and reduce it, maybe up to one. You see, coming like this, very good. After that, I going to color correction and apply color correct to my noise apply somewhere here and from here to material just to see what is going on and increase contrast up to one maximum you see what was happened okay now go back to my noise and reduce size maybe 0 0.1 very nice Everywhere where is you have white color will be reflection, where is you have black color, no any reflection. Or opposite, I don't remember exactly, but doesn't matter. So, uh, I reduce little bit this noise, maybe 0. I don't know, 0. 0.7. Okay, like this, I like it. Then go to color correct. And as you can see, these uh, edges between black and white very hard i like to make it little bit softness so my contrast reduce maybe nine eight maybe like this okay i'll keep like this and what i will do now so if i go to uh, settings of redshift material inside i have what i have inside just show you inside i have reflection and inside i have coating Coating is like a double reflection, or I don't know how to explain more correct. So, what I will do? I take uh, information from my color correct after the noise, drag and drop inside redshift material and give information reflection, base reflection weights. And what I have? I will have a reflection only on the places where is I have other color. Then I take this reflection, drag and drop inside for coating weight. What I have? Okay. You see. You see what is going on. Yes. Uh, I have like a wet. Like a wet maybe after the washing of car or maybe after rain. But doesn't matter. I have it. So I use only one texture, noise texture, after color correction, where is I increase contrast almost to full, I will use it like a weights for reflection and weights for coating. If I go inside, I see here is some lock and in coating some lock. Very good. If I need, I can increase some roadness inside like this, you see, will be. It's absolutely up to you but i just keep a zero and here reflection also will be zero like this and like this very good i will keep like this so and maybe 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 i will reduce a bump 0 0.1 to almost minimum just just like this okay what we have just go down by camera go up and check what we have okay looks like very nice but too much wet i like to little bit reduce it so i going back to my settings of material uh, go to noise 
go to noise coordinates and maybe a little bit reduce up to six. Oh no no sorry sorry up to eight up to eight I need increase I need increase okay so I like it too much wet I like it very good and maybe 97 okay so now it's already set up it what I will do now set up a camera so I take a camera just standard no normal camera uh, go to settings of this camera coordinates and make it zero maybe zero increase okay here will be sorry other bottom here will be zero minus maybe five go back somewhere here and increase maybe 90 centimeters so render and check what we have we have to wait because it's taking long time okay very nice i like i like this i like this so maybe i will take camera a little bit back little bit little bit back take camera and maybe to this area so you see this mm, okay i will i will increase little bit viewing this is settings of my camera how to change it go inside and for a moment i will use a uh, wide division uh, of ig hd 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 sorry hd 1280 up to 576 okay very good what I will do now? Now I will make an animation of my lights. First of all, I have to create a... If I disable all these lights, like this, and make a render, I cannot see any backlights, like in my picture, you see? Coming backlight, like a stop lights, stop signal. Okay, how to do it? Very simple. Uh, I just create a redshift light area. Go to general settings and make it like a like a like a like a disk. Like a disk. Change size of this disk. I don't know, maybe maybe only 30 centimeters, maybe 20 centimeters, and maybe uh, 100 it will be good. So I have like a backlight. Uh, don't forget this is blue one is a direction of this light. So put somewhere here top and put somewhere down exactly where is you have a backlights of your car stop light of your car like this so change color of this light i will use a red maybe a little bit dark red and also i will use standard radial power to zero to zero so take this light Hold control on your keyboard, drag and drop. Okay, check now what we have. If I render, just very fast. Okay, you see some lights coming. And I see some illumination here from my LED lights. It means everything working properly. Uh, why it's not necessary to use a redshift self-illumination material for this because uh, renders coming it's not so good quality i don't know i increased up to maximum away 20 30 minutes for one pictures and use just normal uh, lights normal redshift lights it's working more better maybe in beta version or will be more better with redshift but i use alpha version so what we will do now we will do some animation first of all i will do only four frames like i told you yes only four frames for all this video okay uh, first frame will be like here uh, backlights coming then will be second frame 
where is my second frame coming lead lights forward then lights up one two three okay first of all i disable all my light uh, i will increase because i need it yeah oh what we can do no no we can we can we can decrease it basic enable disable okay very good so in beginning i will use only only back lights only back lights so render and check how it will be finally it will be like this i like it i like it so on second frame number one i think i will take all the slides push disable frame number one enable okay in frame number one i will have forward light i will have forward light very good then i going to where is this this is backlights zero frame number two enable what i have it will be like like this very nice then i take to these lights k frame go to frame number three and enable what i have two more lights coming very nice and i going to last one k frame and k frame number four enable and finally will be like this what i will do now i go to my settings redshift and apply global illumination primary gi engine i will use irradiance cache secondary absolutely not necessary and what i have to do now just make a one render just to check how is current frame what will be just push button and wait very soon it coming You see, now is going calculation irradiance cache is taking I don't know according to to my calculation maybe 30 maybe 40 seconds, and we will see if the result will satisfact. We will go into final rendering. Mm, come on, very long time. Okay, now it's coming yeah so i i like it i like this picture very nice coming colors okay go to final settings first of all i will increase up to full hd one nine to zero this changing automatically after that i going to full frames all frames from zero to four and save uh, format I will use open EXR for 32 bits because later I like to make some very nice color correction and redshift basic I will increase up to 512 to half it will be it will be good quality very good quality and additionally what I will do I will add to camera redshift tag and enable pocket and make a focus object focus distance somewhere somewhere maybe here okay very good so uh, when everything ready just push render and wait on my computer this rate uh, oh okay what 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 I, I forget something yes as you can see my video I have I have <laughs> I have like this, yes, like uh, maybe a washing of car, like this area. Uh, it's very, very easy to create. I show you now what I will do. Just standard cube, maybe 30 centimeters, maybe only five centimeters and lens eight meters. Okay, I have like this. After that, make a solo object. 
enable uh, make it detable selection tools take it right click we will put something inside maybe only one centimeters and extrude down maybe 4.5 centimeters will be enough okay very nice what I will do now again cube reduce 30 centimeters make only 3 centimeters and reduce up to 1 centimeters make it fillet for 0 .0 0.0.2 only and make only 2 like this okay very good we are going here go to MoGraph sorry not matrix cloner cloner put inside this cube reduce size and increase here maybe I will use only only five centimeter okay put in beginning of my area and increase 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 maybe like this 160 okay very good what I have I have this uh, create a redshift material and we will do some metal some chrome so going inside take out color uh, go to our reflection settings change color edge scene go to white color and make only 0 0.1 just little bit illumination okay very good so take all of them and apply color now I have the view okay very good and what I have to do now is plane on the floor just make it just increase maybe okay three segments make it editable go to H selection take this take this scale put somewhere here okay selection take central and delete we don't need it anymore so uh, maybe this I put little bit little bit down why it's not working okay just maybe like like this okay very nice again everything done push render and wait on my computer it's taken more than one hour I don't know exactly but more than one hour okay what we will do now going to Adobe After Effects double click take all your renders files and make import so create a composition from one of them and make this composition maybe maybe only 15 seconds okay it is done it is done so put all inside what I will do first of all create a new solid black color put to the top okay in beginning go to opacity and approximately 10 frames push opacity to zero it's coming like this lights coming very good go to frame number okay number two maybe two three seconds yeah no okay three seconds go to opacity of my second picture make it zero and five frames ten frames before or five frames before 100 uh, sorry I forget to put a K 
Okay, how it will work? Stop signal. Lights. Okay, very good. Go to five. Five seconds. Go to opacity of this layer and make it zero. Five frames before. Somewhere here will be. Put 100% coming light. Go here and make like this for all of them. Five frames before, 100. Opacity. Last light, five frames before, and 100. And what I have? Stop light. Then start engine. Then start with one light, second light, third light. Okay, very good. Very good. This is done. What I will do now, I will apply some sounds, because I need some sounds. I found an internet, some very nice sound, and smoke. Smoke I will use from video copilot, yeah? Okay, sound. Apply, open waveform, and check where is my car is coming, somewhere here. So now I disable it. Okay, in three seconds, will be like this. If I will check it now, it will be like this. Very good. Go to last frames, somewhere here and reduce up to minimum okay for lights check uh, waveform reduce i need only this only beginning so i go to seconds number five first line coming here yeah, seconds number five just put somewhere here copy of them seconds number six copy of them and seconds number seven copy of them okay check what we have very nice what i have to do now i will add some smoke smoke behind the car so i take my car take some smoke put somewhere here you see yeah some smoke very good i know decrease increase i will keep like this take my car and copy of this and put somewhere on top going to mask tool increase and make uh, some mask of this car not a roto brush I will use like this of course if you make a car some different colors you can use a magic roto brush tool but I will do like a old school yeah like old school It's not necessary to make a very accurate, absolutely not necessary. Almost done. I don't know how many minutes will take my tutorial. I hope it will be less than half hour, but if little bit more I think it's not so big problem for you. Okay, so I have mask. I have mask, very good. And, and, and. What I will do now with this mask? I start to play with 
Okay, how is calling with Alpha Matt? I think it will be like this. I think it will be like this. Luma Matt? No. Mm. Okay, very good. What I will do now, I go to my smoke, puffy smoke, take a mask tool and make new mask. I will make maybe like here. only like this go to settings of this mask and increase maybe maybe 200 and maybe maybe like like 100 about like this okay what i have you see some smoke already coming some smoke here coming very good Okay, here smoke coming. Very, very nice. Very nice. I like to start the smoke only when my car starts to work. So I go to opacity of the smoke. Go somewhere here. Make a zero. Keyframe. Go to three seconds. And make it 100%. And mod screen. Okay, check again. Okay, smoke coming. You see. Looks like very nice. I like it. I like it very much. Okay, uh, black I put to the forward. I don't know why, why it's not working now. Okay, I know why it's not working. So going to back, black color opacity, make 100%, go one seconds before, and make zero. It will be like a finish, like a finish of my video. And what I do now, I will make some camera animation. So I create, uh, I no, sorry, not create. I take all my layers, right click, pre-compost. Yes just move to here then i going to my video and what i will do this will be last my picture mm, sorry disable this will be last i going to scale my put a zero going to first frame and maybe increase up to maybe 225 yeah will, will be good so if i will have animation will be like this camera moving back okay coming low very nice and finally a new adjustment layer for this adjustment layer you can make uh, any color correction but i will use like usually Magic bullets suit. Maybe some movie, some I don't know. Okay. Last time I will use classic innovation. Today I will use maybe like this. Why not? Looks like very nice. Apply. Ah, okay. Uh, vignette. Additionally, I go to use lens. Vignette. Maybe maybe a little bit increase like this to make a more cinematic yeah aspect like this okay so I like it apply and for adjustment layer I will make maybe only 50% opacity maybe only just just little bit not like this but like this okay and finally 
before before adjustment layer i will use a solid black color i will call it optical optical video copilot optical flares go inside take i don't know some standard optical flares maybe okay maybe this this will be good apply it to the screen mode uh, where is my screen mode make on original and make size only maybe 50 percent and 50 percent i no need more just put somewhere somewhere maybe here okay uh, and add one more optical flare second one we will use same same but little bit less only 25 percent and 25 percent i will use on original and put this somewhere somewhere here okay very nice what i will do now where is my start start work light so here to my optical flares will be 100 uh, will be full bright and five frames before where is my lights is off it will be zero and zero okay very good and what i will do now i will add some also small animation so position going to last frame take out black just to see take this position and put somewhere here take this position and put on proper place so now we check what what we have if we moving my object also moving maybe i will use not screen maybe i will use normal mm, maybe add okay add yeah okay you see it's moving exactly when moving my car when everything done when everything done with sound with everything go to render and finally you will have like this video So, okay, if you like my tutorial, if you like this car setup, car composition, subscribe to my channel, share to your friends and put like, it will be very good for me and check all my other tutorial which is already created and will be in future and see you next time. Goodbye, friends.